Madam Speaker, any knowledge that I have about the alleged influence of a certain family at ESCOM has been obtained from published reports on the matter. This includes the Public Protector's State of Capture report, as well as several media articles produced by investigative journalists. And may I say recently, of course, quite a lot of this information has been spewing out from uh, these emails that all of us have been reading. So this has formed the basis of the information that myself and I guess many others have uh, been exposed to. As I've said in this house before, it is critical, and I repeat it, that a judicial commission of inquiry should be established as a matter of urgency to probe these and other claims of corporate capture uh, of state institutions. The law enforcement agencies themselves need to give these allegations their full attention. And Madam Speaker, where crimes have been committed, those responsible must be prosecuted. Parliament should be commended also for initiating its own inquiries in some of these matters as they have come out affecting quite a number of uh, departments or ministries. These allegations in the end are so serious and they are also of great concern to many South Africans and their implications are so far reaching that they need to be thoroughly investigated without any fear or favor. Thank you, Madam Speaker.